Data enrichment tools can get you emails, phone numbers, and personal information of your leads that you need in order to do the outreach. Except when they can't. No matter how good each individual tool is, sometimes it just doesn't have all the data you need. Maybe their database is outdated, or the data itself is wrong, or the Godzilla has stepped on their servers, yada, yada, yada. This means that you're using only one fourth of your leads list potential. Today, I will show you how to use the waterfall lead enrichment method that will turn your leads list from this to this. And the difference is 35%. That's how many more leads you can squeeze out of the same exact list. Let's dive in. But first, what do you mean by waterfall lead enrichment exactly? Well, there are tons of lead enrichment tools out there on the market, but the problem is each one of them will have only information about some contacts and not information about the others. So if we combine them and sequence all of the tools together, we'll be able to find more and more leads. Let me show you this example. Here I have a list of 14 different leads. We have their full name, we have their organization, and if I use only any mail, for example, we'll We'll be able to find eight different emails. If we use Apollo, also eight. Drop contact, eight. But again, if we use only one of the tools, we're only getting about 60% of the contact information found. And if we use them in a sequence all together, that number goes to 85, which is outstanding, especially when you have a list of super high quality, high targeted leads. The better you do lead enrichment, the less time you need to spend on building new prospecting lists. Speaking of which, let me show you how to do exactly that and walk you through the entire workflow. And I'm going to look for workflow automation experts. Here I have a list. And I usually use the workflow automation tool called Bardeen. You can grab the link to it down below. It's in the description. Okay, and here at the top, you have the magic box. You can type in anything you want to automate and it's going to build an automation for you with artificial intelligence. For our use case, obviously we want to uh, scrape a list of LinkedIn profiles from search and add them to sheets. And let's AI build it for us. And by the way, Bardeen already comes with tons and tons of pre-built playbooks. So you don't even need to use artificial intelligence, but it's kind of easier to type things in. So this playbook has two actions. It's going to scrape information. It's going to add the information into sheets. Sounds good to me. I'm going to say yes, save it and run it. Bam. Now we're asked how many items we want to scrape from this list. Let's go ahead and scrape. Uh, I'll do 20 so it's easier to work with. And for the spreadsheet, I can create a new spreadsheet and I'm going to call it Workflow Automation Experts. Bam, let's run it. Okay, and that's our spreadsheet. Click on View to open it. Okay, and just like that, here comes our leads list. Up next, we need to figure out a great lead enrichment tool that we're going to use first. And I'm not exaggerating. There are dozens and dozens of lead enrichment tools. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at three. The first one is called Any Finder, and let's go ahead and try it out right away. So with this leads list, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on File, Download, and Download CSV file. From there, let's go to Any Mail and click on Bulk Search. Then we're going to create new bulk enrichment. Pick our file, click on open. And here we have full names that are linked up. And here we have companies that are linked up automatically. I'm going to click on process and we can hit command R to refresh the page. Okay, it looks like we have 13 leads that were found. I'm going to click on preview to check them out. And it does look like we have six verified emails, seven partially verified and seven not found, which is not terrible. With this tool, you're only going to pay for the emails that are fully verified. And if you want to download the emails, well, you need a subscription and that's going to cost you six credits. I don't have a subscription with any mail just yet. So what I can do is I can just go ahead, copy all of these emails and create a new tab over here, call it any mail, paste the results over here. Let's freeze the first row and there we have it. So again, there we have 10 results from the preview. And what you can do up next is you can go back to our original leads list. Let's also freeze up the very first row. I'm going to create a new column called enriched. And here I consulted with ChatGPT to create this formula. I want to see which one of those emails were actually found. So for the first value, I'm going to point at profile URL. That's how we're going to be matching all of the data. And then for the second argument, I will need to point at a range of those profiles in a different sheet, such as this one. Okay, let's hit the return key. 
and boom, it does look like this first person has been enriched indeed. I'm going to drag it all the way down. Okay, and there we have the results. If you only want to find the results that were enriched, you can create a little filter, just some spreadsheet magic for you. And here you can say, hey, all of the values that are true, I want to visualize, okay? Or you can do the same thing with all of the values that are false. Let's do exactly this. Boom, so here we have a number of results that were not found. I can go ahead and just copy all of these into a new sheet and let's call it drop contact because that's the second enrichment tool I'm going to be using. Okay, I'm going to paste it over here, freeze the rows again. I'm going to download this file as a CSV. Okay, now let's go to drop contact, add a new file. There we have it, let's click on open. Process your file. Drop Contact also has a pretty good pricing structure. You can click on files and the APIs. That's how you can make enrichment calls. And to enrich 20,000 contacts is going to cost you only $250, which is super duper cheap. Okay, let's go back to our upload my file. There we have our spreadsheet. I'm going to download it from here. Now let's go back to our Google Sheet. Click on File, Import, Upload, Let's drag the file. And here for the import location, I can insert a new sheet, click on import. And just like this, here we have some additional data. And does look like six more contacts were found, which leaves us with four more to be enriched, which is already not that bad. I'm going to freeze the first row one more time, do more spreadsheet magic. Let's just sort all of the contacts so that we have this four missing ones at the bottom, okay? There we have it. I'm going to copy these contacts for the sake of example. And here we have Apollo Enrichment. And to be entirely honest, this is how I usually start my enrichment because Apollo is just such a phenomenal tool that has all of the data, including email addresses, even pictures of people. That's how awesome it is. So let's see what we can do here. And for this use case, I'm going to come back to Bardeen and use the Bardeen Apollo integration. If you remember, we had to download spreadsheets, clean them up, re-upload them, and do all of that back and forth. But this playbook is going to be none of that. You can grab the link to it, down below. It will take just one click. I'm going to show you how to build it from scratch. So let's open up Bardeen over here. Let's create a new automation and it will consist of three actions. First, we'll need to pull information from a sheet. Then we'll need to use Apollo to enrich the information. And then we'll need to put it back into our spreadsheet like nothing happened so we can run it with one click. Okay, the first action is the action with Google Sheets and it's going to get a table from a Google Sheet. We can point at a specific sheet. It's called Workflow Automation Experts. The tab is called Apollo. Click on Done. Then we're going to add a new action. Obviously pick Apollo over here. We have a bunch of different actions over here that we have access to. I'm going to click on Get Contact Info from Apollo. And here we have a few arguments. The more arguments that you provide, the better. We do not have their email addresses, obviously. That's what we're trying to find. But we do have the full names. And we're going to insert those coming from our Google Sheet. It's called name, that variable that has all of the full names. And then we also have the organization name. Let's click on insert. And let's find our company name over there. Cool. Sounds good to me. I'm going to click on done. Finally, we need to add that new information back into our spreadsheet. For that, I'm going to click on new action. Let's select sheets, update Google Sheet rows, select our spreadsheet, select the tab. Finally, Bardeen will ask you how to find the rows that need to be updated based on the new information. I'm going to do it based on the LinkedIn profile link because it's unique to every individual person. So inside the spreadsheet, it's going to be a variable that is called LinkedIn. And we're going to find values by also the LinkedIn profile, but this time coming from Apollo. Let's look on the person object. And there we have LinkedIn URL. Okay, that's how matching is going to happen. Now, what information are we going to add to the spreadsheet? Well, everything that comes from Apollo. So we can update each individual field if we want to, or we could just dump all of the data from that follow action. So I'm going to use commands and add the data from action number two, person data, all fields. So everything that comes from there, click on done. That's our automation. We're going to call it enrich sheets. Click on save and boom, like I promised, check this out. We have a spreadsheet without much data. 
And now we're going to open up our game, click one button, and this can be as many contacts as you want. Just let the magic happen. Okay, there we have our spreadsheet. Okay, and there we have it. Looks like we've just discovered two more emails. And if we scroll a little bit more to the right, we have some additional information such as people's title over here. We also have the country where they're from. There is one phone number that was discovered. And here comes the best part, their photo URLs. And for a little bit more spreadsheet magic this time, I'm going to add a column to the right. And we're just going to turn this links into actual pictures. So you just type a formula, image, and point at the image, then drag it down. Pretty neat, right? Then you can select all of the rows, resize, make it 100 pixels, and bam, there we have people's faces as well. How cool is that? You can just start with a list of names and organizations and have all of this additional information with a click. I have an entire video dedicated to enriching information from Google Sheets using Apollo. Click here to watch it next. And this is exactly what I call waterfall lead enrichment. Think about it this way. We started with 20 demo contacts and we're able to find 18 emails. That's a 90% match rate on parallel. Incredible. This way you can spend more and more time actually reaching out to people and doing your sales magic and less time creating new prospecting lists. And the odds are that the more difficult it is to find somebody's information, the fewer outreach emails they get and therefore the conversion rate is very likely to increase. We use three different tools, AnyMail, Drop Contact, and Apollo to make all of this magic happen. And by now some of you might be thinking, Renat, where do I get those leads lists from so that I can enrich them? Well, I'm glad you asked. I just created a video about four unique ways how you can build lease lists from scratch and for free. If you want to check it out, click here next. I'll see you there. Right here, click it.